This one project has lasted a whole five months now, and I'm stopping it after this one. Seriously, I'm so tired of this. For the last video, I went all out. Instead of PLA plastic, we're working with carbon fiber infused filament, aluminum sintered parts, and TPU for most everything. Of course though, there were a fair amount of crashes and fails throughout this process. First thing to do with this car's final redesign, I swear that this is the last video I'm ever going to make on this car, I'm actually sick of working on it, is the material that it's made out of. PLA is brittle and not very strong, and up to this point is what every piece on this car has been made of. For the chassis, we're upgrading to a carbon fiber reinforced filament to hopefully double its strength. The other most exciting material upgrade is the metal rear drive axle gear I had manufactured from PCBWay. This thing is 3D printed with aluminum and it's a beast. I'm super excited to see how well this will perform, as well as what sick noises it'll make. Getting into the assembly of the car, I started by bolting the two halves of the chassis together. Next, I attached the wishbone suspension to the front of the car. Once the rear drive axle and drive gear were installed on the chassis, I bolted on the rear suspension arms and axles. With the bulk of the car put together, I was pretty eager to go test it out. With all the hardware transferred onto the new carbon fiber chassis here, it's feeling way more solid already, honestly. Got the new steerage linkage set up here, working good so far. I just printed this 100% PLA, just what I had on the printer. I wanted to get this thing out, do some testing. We've got the metal drive gear on the back here from PCBUA installed on the axle. And the thing is, I mean, it's just so solid. This thing is gonna sound crazy, I bet. I then proceeded to test the car off camera just down the street briefly to make sure everything was roughly working as it should. I forgot to reduce the power sent to the motor on my controller, and when I gave it a little bit too much throttle, the rear wheels spun so fast and created so much centrifugal force that the foam inside the tires literally exploded out through the rubber. It was a pretty unique fail, probably the craziest that the car has had so far. I wish that I caught it on video, but oh well. Uh, I was thinking that this project would be pretty easy, just remake what you've already designed in new materials and shoot some video, but this was a bit of a curveball. I had a deadline for my previous project coming up, so I needed to switch gears and focus on that. Thus, the car sat in pieces on top of my desk for a month. Sponsor time! PCBWay is an online PCB manufacturing service that can make parts for your custom projects. They also offer really high quality 3D printing services, CNC machining, metal 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. I love PCBWay for their low prices and fast turnaround times. For this project, I needed stronger, more durable gears for the drivetrain of the car. The 3D printed plastic was getting shredded to bits. Simply by uploading the STL file to PCBWay's website and getting a quote to have it custom manufactured in aluminum, I had my part. Their services support makers like me to create cool projects like this one, and they can do the same for you too. Big thanks to PCBWay. Picking up now where I left off a month ago, the car's looking rough. In the crash, I not only blew up the wheel, but both axles, the drive axle, the U-joint couplers, and I chipped the suspension brace as well as a few other things. This was pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is. The first thing to do before I can start with this mess is taking everything apart. As far as new parts, I decided to redesign the rear knuckles to have more structural rigidity. In the past, an issue that I really didn't love was that when tightening the bolt that attaches the knuckle to the A-arm, it pinches it and binds it up. This way I could have low play in the system while still not having anything rub inside of the joint. I also opened up the simulation constraints just to see them all visualized out of curiosity and wow. That's crazy. I printed out the new knuckles and U-joint couplers with a rigid filament, but for the redesign I wanted to make the axles with TPU just out of curiosity to see how it would work.
Finally back to a solid place with the car, I wanted to spin it up on my desk to hear the sound of the metal gear. This little test also gave a super obvious visual demonstration as to how the centrifugal force wrecked the tires earlier. With everything looking good, finally, I got it back on the ground to test it out. The car was working the best it ever had up to this point, which was a great feeling to watch. Also, the noise from that metal gear sounded amazing as hoped. I was driving this thing around, swerving through the parking lot, roof columns, and then had the brilliant idea to go run it on the grass. This car was not designed for off-roading by any means, but the first person footage from the GoPro was pretty awesome to be able to see the suspension working so well. Eventually, this unfamiliar abuse would target another weak point on this car, the suspension braces. When originally designing this car, I was literally just designing a computer model to simulate different suspension geometries, and then it evolved into a whole project that's lasted like 5 months now. Originally, I just needed a hard point in space to attach the suspension in the computer to, so that's what I made. In the real world, however, this hard point is very poorly designed, and is probably the worst design part on this car. Once back up on my desk, I made this little part here. It's so stupidly simplistic, I'm actually annoyed I hadn't thought of this sooner. All it does is distribute the force experienced by the suspension better into the frame. And just like that, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. With the goal of not breaking anything this time, I wanted to get some epic footage of the car. But, of course, it always ends with a big crash. This thing had been working too well, so now it was time for a crash. And here's the first person view of that. And here's the replay. Surprisingly, the car didn't take much damage, just broke a steering push rod. That goes to show that these new materials are a thousand times better. Anyways, I swear to god I'm never gonna work on this car again, but that doesn't mean you can't. If you've got Onshape, all the files are accessible to you to copy and modify. They're also free on Thingiverse if you don't have Onshape. Thanks a ton if you've watched this far in the video, and I'll see you in the next one.